Hey, it's Angelo's, Angelo's Edge. I got a knife that I got on sale on Amazon. I believe it's regularly, it was uh, $29. It was 40% off. It I think it took it down to like 23 And then there's a 20% uh, coupon. So it was just roughly over tax. It was $20. And it's a button lock by a company called Perwin. Uh, I'm going to show you what came in it, but I'm not going to show you very long because the one thing it has, it, it smells, it don't, it smells really perfumey. So it came with uh, a box with the lion on it. That's their emblem. It has G10 handles, D2 still, so, and it came with this wiping cloth. But I'm going to put it away. My wife's already, she's next to me, and it has a very... It smells. It smells very perfumey or like uh, very strong. Uh, it's worse than walking through the perfume area. Of the dollar mall. or it's like it kind of reminds me of Dollar General when you walk at the Dollar General. All right, hold on. I'm getting. I have to get the Amazon package back out and slide it. She's sticking down there. So I have to put it back in the Amazon bag and close it up. So anyway, so I can't show that very long. But I took this knife and what I did was I. I actually, uh, are you better now? Yeah, okay. So I took it and I rinsed it off in the sink and washed it off with uh, some soap. From lemongrass. From lemongrass spawn. No, what was that? They always said, uh, anyways. So it's she sells some of this uh, lemongrass spa. Uh, soap and hand uh, soap and stuff like that. And uh, I took the smell off of it. Don't You can actually, don't smell anymore. So, cause she was, I was, I was doing what I normally do when I first get a knife. I sit there and I play with it all night, like flipping it open and close and just like fidgety cause it's a very fidgety knife. Uh, but she's like, she couldn't handle the smell. So I, so I got in hot water and I with soap and I cleaned it off. Now it don't smell. So anyways, that's a negative, but I mean, something you can work through, but I don't know. I've never had a knife like that, that like smelled so strong it literally it's like it was dipped in a vat of perfume yeah it, it was weird it was like a vat uh, she's about right it was like it was dipped in a vat of perfume but that's nor here nor there but we we're talking about the knife and so it's a perwin button lock so there you can see it right there uh, here's a it's a drop point and i believe they consider it a stone watch black finish it kind of just looks like painted uh, it's still, still it's wet for me cleaning it and uh come over here d2 blade that side g10 handles pocket clip people are complaining about that there's like mushroom heads that don't it don't actually they're not flat like countersunk so it might catch in your pocket it's a little tight i wore it i wore it yesterday and it's kind of it they kind of wanted to get on the pocket it wanted to get stuck on the little bolt heads but i i was all right so that meant it, it basically stopped about right here in your pocket me and let's see if i can get this oh <laughs> yeah it's a tight fit yeah well that didn't work but it does slide in your pants pretty good. It just gets stopped about right here. It'll it stop about right on the buttons about right there. And as you really force it, it would be like something like that. So anyways, so, but I made a graphic here. It made me a little drawing about this knife. So it's a button lock, but it's, I have some other button locks like this right here, a buck button lock or it's not a button lock but it's a similar concept and then this other one right here there you go so i got these three uh other knives these three and i oh i even have a, a gerber so these other knives have the same similar type lock-in mechanisms so so what what they could kind of how they work is the Gerber is a your classic uh, your access lock. You pull it back, and it 
opens the blade up, which there's a hole channeled out right there. So when you pull the axis block, it lets you close or open. The Perwin, well, I'll show you the buck first. And the buck, well, here's here's a, a true, another button lock. That is, this is the CRKT BT Fighter. So it's a button lock and you push down the button and it opens. But if you look in here, you can see the button, it, it traps right there. It's like we're up on the top of the blade. You can see it. That's, and you can see the hook. See the hook right there, I guess you'd say. As it closes, it captures like that. So it kind of works like this. Here's the drawing. This is the BT fighter. And the button fits in there when it closes. And this is your pivot. But the this Perwin and this uh, the Buck have similar locks. When I say it, they're internal button locks. There's like a channel, the Perwin, it rides in. The button actually rides in this channel. When you push it, it lets it, it'll fall into this. You can't see it, but that's how it works. So there's only one hole like in this when it's in the engage position. But when you drop it, it will slide down. And then that way you can, you can just flick it out like like that so it's kind of now the buck it has a similar it's like kind of u to use it but it has two trap points so you can't actually you can't flick this out because it's locked into this hole right here so you got to pull back and then flip it out and then it locks into this hole with the button but it's not really a button. It's more like a pull. You pull this one back. So it's not a button. It's more of a I don't know, switch type lever. I guess a lever. You pull the lever back. And it, it out of these button locks and access locks, it's the closest to the buck. Because it, you know. And it's kind of cool because then you don't have to pull anything back. Like on the buck, you have to pull it back and then flick it out. This one, you just... Flick it out, and then you could do like your reverse flick, and there is it's not no flipper, but so that's that's I kind of thought it was interesting how the locks were a little different on these four different knives, but they're all similar. But the closest one I found was the the buck. So so of that, but I wanted to show you. I'm I'm I was getting ready to actually uh, sharpen this because. It didn't really come very, it came sharp enough, like it, it a cut paper, you know, it's very, it's sharp for most, it's sharp, it catches a little bit, so, but like I took this buck and it is like, I want to, I want to get it like that, you know, this one, no way you could do it, it just, it's just not that sharp, but I'm going to, I'm going to sharpen this D2, but I want my knife to be like that, basically. So, I am going to... I wanted to make the video before I sharpen it. Because I want to show you <clears throat> how sharp it really was. It It's average sharp. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, so I'm going to do some measurements. Let's see. I already showed you. Oh, it has the back spacers. Or, like, uh, chrome. They actually, they're, they're kind of nice. They're like, uh, not molded, uh, they look like they're milled, kind of, like a lathe, kind of, shine. you know, I know they're not milled, but they're just not standoffs, they have like a little bit of style to them. Uh, some people are just talking, well, why didn't you just black it all out? Eh, whatever. So, but it is fidget friendly, you could drop it. The button might be a little sticky, I don't know, I don't know how good this picks this up. You can hear kind of, but so it, it, when you push the button, it, it drops out of that and that uh that locking point and rides in that channel. Let's see if you can see anything. I'm gonna open it up and then let you guys look down through there. So you can see how tight the pocket clip is. There is no lanyard hole, but I think if you want a lanyard, you could wrap it around that standoff. 
see if I can ink. See, you won't be able to see the button like, like on the other knife, like this BK, BK, BT. You can just see how the spring and the button moves out of the way. This one, like I said, is internal. So you can't see that. It has the thumb studs are pretty good. Uh, you know, it's a fidgety knife. It's like a drop point. Almost looks like, I think, I don't know, I was watching someone else's video. Either it's a leaf shape or it's, it's a, it, it's kind of, it's a leaf slash drop point. It's very thin. And it's got a high grind. So I think it's going to sharpen up real nice. Let's see what the, let's see what the specs are. Let me do the. Off on. Let's see. Inches. I'm guessing it's under 0.5. Oh, I guess. Oh, I was catching. Oh, 0 0.5. That's the thickness of the handle. 0.5. Not bad. That's a pretty good size. Thickness of the blade. 0.10. Got some shadow there. Bring it up here. But it has a the the grind is like really. Oh, I just popped my. Up there, my my cheap micrometer. There we go. I was gonna measure how high the grind is on the blade. See, I like these high type grinds. It's not a total full flat grind, but it's a very high grind. So a point seven, almost almost three quarter of an inch of a grind. See, like that's one thing about the buck. I wish the grind was higher, but it's a, this one's a hollow grind. So, but it's only a half inch, but with the buck, it came. It was I couldn't get this thing to cut very good. I had to actually take this up. It was at a 25, 25 degree angle. I took it up to a twenty, and that went higher. It made the the bevel a little longer. But man, this is slicey now. So I hope I'm gonna get this one that slicey. I should be able to. Uh, so it says G10. Let's see the weight on it. I believe it is exactly four. For, <clears throat> I believe it's four ounces, but we will measure it. Mm -hmm. I think it's the lightest of these knives that I have here. I'll do a size comparison. Let's see. Here's the oh, weight is three point eight five compared to the, the buck four. This one's heavy, five almost, and then the Gerber Sumo, five. So this is the lightest of all these button locks. Well, not, not all, of them. they're not all button locks, but uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna show you guys something. Damn, I wish I remember what I was gonna show you. All size comparisons. All right, well, since I got these out, I will show you the, the Gerber Sumo's pretty uh, well-known knife. It's about $42 knife. You can see it's bigger than that. This is just on the edge of being, I think, this is probably a, most people would like. It might be, like, some people consider the Gerber Sumo too large of a knife. I believe it's like a four-inch four, four inch blade. Let's see. I wanted to see. Yeah, it's like a like four-inch blade, and this is a, the blade length on this roughly three and a half. So this might be considered a little big for the sumo. And then these are on both these knives. This knife's a bigger knife too. So it's kind of sandwiched in between some small knives. And then I think the Gerber uh, two, 262 is about the same size. Just actually has the same little cutout right there. Very similar kind of handle. Uh, so it has jumping up on top there a little bit to catch uh, I don't know like, I guess I think if I was going to use it I'd probably be holding it like this most of the time uh, I guess reverse grip you could I don't know if you did a reverse grip you might I don't know if the button would squeeze and lock up on and fall down on you I don't know I can't I I can't really f to say if it will or not, but if, if you're holding it like this, I don't think it's going to, I mean, you're missing the button. 
Plus, the button's not, it don't fall as easy. It's not like you brush by it and it falls. It's, you almost have to real, pretty pretty good, uh, it's got a decent spring, at least this one does. You got to actually push down. Not a lot, but you still got to push. You can't bump it shut. You know, like I can't run my finger and bump it shut. It's actually almost got to purposely push it. Man, it... Even after cleaning it off and getting that smell off of it, I didn't put no oil on it, but I'm probably going to put... Uh, so, oh, there's bearings in it. They say copper bearings. I don't... I never heard of copper bearings before. I don't know if they mean... When they say copper, I don't know if they just mean the the actual race is copper and the bearings are still steel. I know there's ceramic... I've heard of ceramic bearings. So, I, I don't know. It, it, it feel, it's, it's smooth. But it's like, this is what I consider a nice fidgeting knife. It's a nice looking knife for like I, $30 ain't bad, but for 20, yeah, it's definitely a 20. It's, it's definitely worth 20. I paid $20 out the door for it. So, and this, if you like the black on black, uh, look, button lock, the, the pocket clip's probably the, the biggest downside but i think i could bend it out and make it a little more usable it's just very it's very uh, it's a really tight pocket clip d2 we'll find out if it's d2 i, I mean i don't know if it is i don't have a rock well hardness tester but i think they say it's like on their you know their ad they say like 60 or something like what d2 is supposed to be so I don't know. I don't know if this is just painted the or it's a coating. So it probably would help if this D2 would rust. So that coating or painting would help that. And it is. I don't know if you heard that. It's some. It don't stick, but which I guess is good because it's not. You just can't brush up in it. In it, you actually have to push down on it. So I guess that's good. I tried loosening it up, so I they didn't. They're not. They're pretty tight. They did move a little bit the the pivot, so I was like, eh, I ain't gonna mess with it. It it drops nice and. Let's see, I don't know if you can see. It drops pretty good. And here's like just gravity. You hear it? I don't know how good this speaker is. Let's see. I'm gonna. Wow, this is a 17 minute video already. All right. I'm gonna see anything else. I don't think so. Anything else you besides the smell, Vicky? There, you. No. I mean, can I get that package you back out? <laughs> no, it stinks. Yeah, she thinks this is a stinky, like a. Remember, it wasn't it? A, a, a old TV show it was a Seinfeld that had the stinky cat. Smelly cat. Sm friends. Yeah, uh, smell. Yeah, friends. Friends had a show called smelly uh, cat, uh smelly cat. friends a TV show in the night. <laughs> and I think this this should be the name Smelly Cat. Smelly knife. Smelly, Smelly knife. knife. This is gonna. I'm gonna. Since it, they don't they don't have a name for the. Uh, it's just called the pearl. Well, look at that. Look at wait wait. I know I have to break the package back. I, I, I no no. It's a Smelly Cat. It's a smelly and, and, knife. It, no, it's a lion. Oh, no. Way. Yeah. <laughs> smelly knife. Smelly knife. Yeah, it's like Seinfeld. Or not Seinfeld. It's Friends. Friend. It's its own knife. It's don't The Perwin didn't give it a name. We're going to call it the Smelly Knife. And box. And it, it's Smelly Box. And <laughs> so, the Perwin button lock, in quotation, Smelly Knife. All right. All right, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.